instead of paper or plastic, she asked me, food stamps, with an attitude and an accent that was quite thick when she asked me twice, food stamps, right? Peace, YouTube, who is sugar, back with another video. Okay, so this is like take five, six, seven, or whatever. And I'm trying to keep this as focused as I possibly can. All right, before you ask me, girl, what is going on with your hair? This is a wig that my sister, Carm Baby, made for me. She's on YouTube. I'll put her information down here in the description area. So it's like a little bob with some bangs, honey. So the little cornrows I had, she just sewed it up and then put the wig cap on and made me a wig. It pops off. I would take it off, but it looks real scary up under here. I just wash my braids and oil them up. Okay, so this product is called, I'll post a picture of the name of it. It's like Milky Way something or another. I'll post a picture right here. So she made me two. I'll show you the other one like when I wear it, honey, because it's fabulous. All right. So this is the side. I know it seems real hump, like humpty hump back up in here, but that's because there is a little hump because of the braids. Um, when she corn wrote my hair, it wasn't designed to be like flat, but whatever. Okay. So this is the other side. Here is the back with the layers and stuff. And it's super fabulous. Okay. Before I get into the video, cause honey, y'all know me, I will be all over the place. Thank you for all the well wishes with my whole plumbing situation. Uh, the man has to come back out and do underneath the house, but that will get done real soon. Cause it's going to be like a, another small fortune, honey. Cause you know, stuff is never cheap. <clears throat> also, I see these bangs make me do this. All right, also, I posted a video, like, the other day. It was up, it was on YouTube for, like, 15 minutes. I took it down simply because my constitution would not allow me to leave it up. Um, some of the material that I was laughing at was highly objectionable and questionable. Maybe I should have used that word. You should have used. Whatever. So I took it down because, um, you know, I'm trying to be responsible. You never know who's looking at your videos, and I just I genuinely genuinely don't want to offend anybody so whatever i know some of y'all was mad give me negative 10 points i see you you know who i'm talking about you still my girl though <laughs> and it's all good okay focus all right so you probably wonder girl why are you talking all in poetry and stuff all in front of your video that is a true story i went to a grocery store this has been a number of years ago and oh, i wasn't doing this today at work i probably was I'm a little self-conscious because this ain't my real hair. Okay. You will not have me distracted, you wig. You will not. Okay, anyway. Okay. So, um, yeah, I went grocery shopping like a couple of years ago. One time when I went grocery shopping a couple of years ago, I was with my three sons, had a whole basket full of groceries. And this lady, when I pull up, to the bumper with all of my stuff mind you I've been in the line because it was like around the first and I used to be married to somebody in the military and when I got to the front she asked me food stamps right now mind you there are people that were in front of me she didn't ask them if they was paying with food stamps she gonna ask me if I was paying with food stamps so of course I was feeling some kind of way and if it wasn't for the fact that I spent like two hours in the grocery store with coupons and a list and three young sons I would have left all that mess just there and be like, you put this stuff up. But instead of me getting nasty, I was like, excuse me, what about me makes you think that I would be using food stamps? Nothing against people with food stamps, but I'm saying, you can't look at a person and say, hey, you use food stamps because you got three children and you got on some jog pants and a wife beater or whatever. Okay. So I did all of that to say, I know you're like, girl, where is she going with? She is all over the place, which I am. And I blame that Reese cup that was so delicious that I just had a few minutes ago. And my touch of ADD. Anyway, one of my commenters left on video number two 
why I decided to wig it out or weave it up when I went on a job interview. So I'm here to address your looks and perception and all of that stuff, right? So when you look a certain way, of course, people are going to make judgments. When you're in a position where you are looking for a job because you don't have one or the job that you are currently employed with is just not the business and you're trying to leave, you have to be mindful of how you look. So people will think that you subscribe to a particular way of thought based on your appearance. It is what it is. And I'm going to give you an example. Now I'm going to talk about why I did the weave. I was employed with a government agency and I had to get out of there, right? Love my coworkers, but because the powers that be were, they had me all over the place, right? It's literally like, oh, she the one with the master's degree, so this is what we gonna do. Uh, no, you're not, not for long anyway. So I had to leave. Sunday, my sister did a sew in for me, okay? Monday, I emailed my resume, okay? Monday night, I get home, realize I emailed my resume to the wrong address. Tuesday, I get the corrected address and I email it. Wednesday, they call me up for an interview. Thursday, I go on the interview. Friday, they call me back and I had the job. Well, what they got to do with the price tea in China? Now, I'm not saying that my fro would have scared the person who interviewed me, which I'm sure it wouldn't because she's so wonderful that like, that's like my girl, you know, she's just such a wonderful person, but it's neither here nor there. But okay, my fro, I think my fro is absolutely fabulous. If every time I walk past a reflection, if I'm doing one of these, I know everybody else is looking at my fro. If people want to touch my fro, I know people are, may feel some kind of way in an interview situation. So let's say the person's head is right here. Let's say their fro is somewhere up around here. If you were on an interview, instead of looking here at you, like eye contact, they are going to be all up in here looking at your fro. It is what it is. Because I look at people's fros and I know I get distracted anyway, but I'm like, ooh, her hair is cute. Why did I come down this aisle? Just crazy stuff like that, right? So the reason why I put the sew in in my head it's because I had to look presentable at the job interview I also had on a suit which I absolutely hate suits but I had a blue suit honey and like some regular heel shoes and some clear stockings and some stud earrings like one bracelet no mm -mm. I didn't even have any bracelets on I didn't put on any oils, none of that stuff. I was looking just as regular as you could possibly get. Okay, so I know you're probably somebody out there is like, whatever, sugar. I went on my job interview with my company and I had a fro, a dashiki, and some Jesus. And those <clears throat> See, God don't like ugly. <clears throat> but I say Jesus sandals. But you know, people, I'm not saying that this is the norm everywhere, but my experience has been people think that you subscribe to a particular lifestyle or thought based on your appearance. So if you need to, what's the word I'm looking for? Change. <laughs> Holla. If you need to change your appearance, modify. <laughs> you need to modify your appearance 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 <clears throat> in order to get a job then that's what you need to do when I was in the interview I said to, to the to the sister who was interviewing me I was like listen I got an enormous fro up under this sewing weave is it gonna be a problem she was like, no, it ain't no problem, child. You work, rock your weed. There's plenty, plenty of people in the company who have locks and who have afros and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know what I was walking into. So that's what I had to do. I had to bring it down some so that I can 
fit in, whatever that means to you. I'm not denying who I am. Just as this wig on top of my fro, I'm not trying to be white. You know, just what people will come up. Y'all know. I, I, I ain't even got to say nothing, right? Okay. So, that is why I had to weave rocked out when I went on the job interview. All right, because y'all know I will. Ooh, 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 ooh. Before I sit, hold up, hold on. Right, so let me tell you what's the devil right quick because I know you're like girl what this guy I this is a public service public service announcement you know I'm gonna make this real quick so I went to BJ's and you know you try to be all healthy and stuff like you know new year I'm gonna drink more water which I drink a lot of water anyway but I said let me get me a multivitamin because I've been 30 something for a couple of years now and I said let me get me a, a multivitamin so I said ooh that says women's daily multivitamins and minerals right comparable to one a day it's like gluten free and all of that good old stuff so I was like yeah I'm gonna start taking me a multivitamin to be more healthy or whatever you know just let me tell you something these vitamins are the devil you hear me they are going back to BJ's tomorrow and I had a coupon that's why I used them they, they came like in the mail they're going back to the store tomorrow these things been making me sick you hear me I was I've been sick as a dog like all weekend not regular sick but like do I have the flu lethargic and stomach hurting Going to bed at 7 o'clock when I normally go to bed at like 8.15. But I'm saying, these pills, the devil. They sh I'm sure in the fine print somewhere, they got something. It ain't right. Nope. Freshness and potency guaranteed. I'm sure it is. And yes, I ate this on like a full stomach and drank plenty of water. I'm just not. They the devil. Okay. NPSA. <laughs> All right, so what are your thoughts? Has anybody been discriminated against um, based on their appearance? You know, let's say like we're in a head wrap. Did somebody ask you different questions? Did they assume that you were a... Or that you believe in... Okay, so that's it. Thank you all for the positive energy. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I have like a lot of new subscribers now. Like I'm well above 4,000. I'm just like so excited about that. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the positive support and energy and all that stuff. And I'll talk to you all really soon. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm like praying that it snows like tonight so they can shut it down tomorrow because I really don't want to go to work although I do have an assessment but I really don't want to go to work anyway that's it I'll talk to you guys real soon peace